Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We gotta talk about what happened on the market today. Shapeshifters, SBCs are coming out. We've got other things happening and I have investments that I want to prepare you guys for and talk through with you guys in the next coming days because right now, it's kind of like a lower time on right on foot. We're not getting a ton of content at the moment, nothing like major, nothing huge. And I think that's gonna allow some of these investments to rise later in the week this week towards the end of the Shapeshifters promo. Uh, and yeah, just kind of like a market talk video for you guys today, talking through some different things on the market. But I wanna start off by talking about the SBC that we got today. We got Gary Mackey Steven, uh, a MLS five-star skiller, doesn't have the dynamic image yet. I honestly didn't even know that this guy was in the MLS, uh, but this is like kind of a cool card collecting type thing. I'm probably in the minority here, thinking that this SBC is cool because I used to use Gary Mackey Stevens in like FIFA 16, I think. FIFA, FIFA 15 and FIFA 16, I used this card a good amount back when you could actually use silvers and they were fun, right? In the, the tournaments and stuff. I used this card a good amount in like silver tournaments because he was five star skills. He had a four star weak foot back then and he felt amazing in FIFA. This was like a silver beast back in the day. So that's why I got pumped about this SBC today. I'm thinking about doing him to be honest, just because I have some untradeable fodder in the club from doing 81 plus upgrade packs and the 80 plus player picks. So this is kind of just like a cool card collector SBC, just an 84 rated squad. If this doesn't apply to you at all, or you don't just want to collect this card because that's where a lot of people are at, just don't do it. It's fine, right? It's it's not a bad idea. Like it's not bad that you don't want to do that SBC. Not every SBC is going to apply to everybody in this game. And I think that's what some people don't you know, understand at all times is we can't get an SBC every single day like Rooney. We can't get an SBC every single day like Ramos or, um, you know, Aspiliqueta even. We can't get like a super insane value, great SBC every single day because that wouldn't just work well for the market, right? There's not really enough players for that in this game, to be honest with you. And it's just, in terms of what the way EA thinks, that's where I'm coming from here. In terms of the way EA thinks, it would not do them good on the market if they did that. So that's just something that we can't have every day. And I think we have to adjust our expectations for that a little bit. But I think they're pumping out really good content right now. So I'm not going to complain at all. Overall, I think we've gotten some really good SBCs in the past few days. That's one thing I want to talk about is I talked about it yesterday. And I want to reemphasize today, Aspiliqueta, Ramos, Rooney, um, and Mkhitaryan before that, Zakaria is not bad. We're getting some really solid player SBCs right now, which is what we asked for about a week ago when we were getting nothing. So I think people are decently happy with these SBCs. And you can tell that some people are based on what we're seeing over here on Footbin with high rated fodders slowly going up, especially for Ramos. 88 rateds are 30,000 coins. All of them, 89s are almost 40K for most of them. These have risen the most, and that's because uh, of Ramos, I think, because Ramos requires the higher rated squads. 87s are up, you know, 21, 22K. 86s are 14, 15,000 coins. So all of these cards pushed up like an extra one to 2,000 coins today on the lower end. 84s went up a little bit today for Gary Mackey Stevens. But the real, the real story is right here. I want to show you uh, Sergio Ramos's graph for his SBC price over the past few days. Uh, he started at 494,000 coins a couple days ago when he came out. He's already up to 522K. Even earlier this morning, 479, you could do him for. Fodder prices are rising. Look at this. All day, the last 72 hours uh, and all day today, fodder prices have risen because there's not as much to do in this game right now in terms of like repeatable SBCs. And, and people are realizing that this Ramos SBC is a legit card. So they're going out and they're doing it. Uh, this is... Kind of com com uh, similar to like what we saw with the PK SBC. I don't think as many people are doing this Ramos as they did PK, but I think there's a lot of people, especially on the upper tier of FIFA players, doing this Ramos SBC because he links to a lot of people's squads. Uh, and that's that's causing fodder to continue to raise up. But again, I talked about this uh, in my video yesterday as well. If you are still holding any of these high rated cards in your club, I don't think it's the sell time yet. I really do not think that it is the sell time. Ederson's like the cheapest 88 rated card. He's 30,000 coins. You could have bought him for like 24,000 coins, I think, a couple days ago. So yes, you're making some really good profit on these cards if you bought them a few days ago. But there's still more profits to come, I think, because when are we getting supply for these cards? There's no lightning rounds during the week. There's only going to be more SBCs coming out. 
So why would we sell some of these cards if their only place that they're going to really go is up? Today we did not get a pack supply SBC. Um, the same one was there from two days ago, which keeps confusing me. If you see my tweets every day, I'm, I'm like off when <laughs> I keep saying we get a pack supply SBC, but really it's just the old one, right? I should start doing these so that they go away. I really don't do these that often. I should do them because, you know, it's a really cheap, you know, what, 5,000 coin SBC. Um, I should do them and try to pack something because my pack luck's been decent recently. Um, but yeah, hope we should get another one of these today. And that's going to lead me talking into the sort of investments that we could possibly be making over the next couple days on this market as well. Because if we get a tradable pack supply SBC or any sort of SBC today on Tuesday, that gives us a... Um, that gives us a tradable pack from it. Uh, that's something that we have to be ready for. And that's going to be a perfect time to get in on some of these investments that I'm going to talk about right now. Man of the match cards go out of packs tonight. And I think they're going to actually pull them out at the correct time because they've been doing that recently. They've been actually pulling the man of the match cards out of packs at the correct time. Last week they did it with the man of the match Holland. Uh, so I think they're going to continue doing that. It seems like they're doing pretty well at being able to, you know, follow their own rules, at least at the moment. So I would expect these cards to be out of packs tomorrow night uh, into Wednesday morning, 12 a.m. time. That's kind of when I think they're going to go away. And I want to talk about, you know, this guy right here, I think is going to be a fantastic investment out of packs, especially if we see him tomorrow back down or under 100,000 coins. That is your buy price for the Surge Navri card on the PlayStation on the Xbox, your buy price is probably somewhere around 90k. You can get this guy around like 90,000 coins, maybe like 87 to 90,000 coins on the Xbox. That'd be perfect. Um, and then probably a PC uh, under 100k as well. But yeah, he's been at those prices. If you take a look at Sunday, he was down. What about last night for squad battle rewards? He was okay. Yeah, he was 100,000 coins last night and 85 on the Xbox. So actually, I adjust that. If you see under 100k on the PS4 and 85,000 coins on the Xbox, that's a great, great buy in my opinion. And he rose uh, into today as well. As you can see, he has risen up to 113,000 coins where he, he kind of is right now. So this is a card that I'm really, since he's bounced around in price so much, and it's crazy to me that he has this much demand. Uh, I, I didn't really realize that a lot of people would want this card. I mean, there's not a ton of left wings that you can buy off the market. That are special cards in the Bundesliga, but I know a lot of people have Parasitch, so um, maybe since that card isn't available on the market, this one's still retaining its value. But this is a nice card, right? And he plays better on the left side, I think, than on the right because he's got the right foot, four star, four star skills, four star weak foot, so he can bang in finesse shots. Uh, yeah, under 100,000 coins for this, preferably like 95 would be perfect. If we get some packs to play tomorrow, that would be great. And then some other Man of the Match cards that I think every single one of you that's watching this video needs to pick up is Fred is, all right, there's three of them. It's Fred, let me, let me look at this really quick because I was thinking about this right before I started recording and this is how I wanted to say it. Every single person that has over 100,000 coins, you need to buy one of these players. Just one, just buy one and throw it in the club. And those players are this Fred, which if we do get pack supply tomorrow, you'll be able to get this card at 10,500 coins, basically discard, get this under 11K, which is basically discard. So pick up a Fred for your club. Basically it's like discard in form investing, but with man of the matches, um, because it actually works. And you're gonna be like, what, why does this work? It actually works. Phil Foden is discard, I believe, or he's really close to discard. I'm a fan also of picking up Phil Foden's at discard price, 10,500 coins. Uh, is where you can pick this guy up or maybe get him on bid for like 10,000 flat store one of those in your club and then also store an Alexis Sanchez in your club because there is one example that I want to show you of a card who was a discard man of the match item earlier this year in foot and he has now risen up to a price where because uh, he's a usable card right where is Awar where is Hassan Awar let me show you this right here Awar is 20,000 coins. Of course, he's French. Of course, he's got the League Un links. We have a lot of League Un special cards and objectives, especially. This guy was 10,000 coins in packs. He's up 10,000 coins after two weeks. He was in packs like two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. He's already, uh, he's doubled in price. I see that happening with Alexis Sanchez. I see that happening probably with Fred. And it could even happen um, with 
Who is the last guy I was talking about? Phil Foden as well. Maybe not so much Phil Foden, but these Man of the Match cards are so rare. That's why I'm a fan of investing in them. So pick yourself an Alexis Sanchez a discard. Pick yourself a Phil Foden a discard. And especially pick yourself up a Fred at discard as well. Uh, and you have a little bit of time to do that. You don't have to run out and do it right now. Just try to get on some open bids um, for right around 11,000 coins if you can on all of these. You know, Fred's going to be the hardest one to find at discard value, like right under 12K, because there's probably a lot of people that are investing in this card and mass investing in it because they know it's Manchester United. But still, it's a rare card. He's Manchester United. Manchester United's playing really well right now. Uh, so that helps this case for possibly rising later as it goes out of packs. Um, and they're still moving on to Europa League. So this card as well has some relevance there with United playing well. So that's what I would say. Pick up a couple of these if you want to. Uh, I'd be I would be a fan of, the, of that because these discard man of the matches have been doing really well out of packs. The last one I want to mention, Gabriel Jesus, uh, left mid version, Champions League man of the match. I mean, these Champions League man of the matches are always pretty good investments anyway. I think he's sixty thousand coins at the moment. If you can find this guy for like fifty five and lower, towards fifty thousand coins flat, I'm a huge fan of those cards man of the match investing is a really good like a one week flipping and a one week trading type of thing so that's why i want to that's one of my reasons why i want to suggest this to you guys uh this week havertz as well under like maybe twenty eight thousand coins for havertz isn't a bad shout and even visca because visca is one of the cheapest um what is he like is he 87 rated Visca is 87 rated, and he's basically one of the cheapest 87 rated cards in this game. I know he doesn't get good links, um, but it's a solid card regardless, and it's one of the cheapest 87s. It's going to be going out of pack. So picking this guy up at 20,000 coins or under, maybe on a bid, was uh, another great investment you can store in your club. Basically, as a high rated investment, and those definitely do rise out of packs as well. So I'm a fan of these man of the matches at the moment. Try to pick them up today. Again, if we do have a pack supply SBC, if we don't, I would still try to pick them up around, you know, 6 p.m. UK time frame because there should be, they should be their lowest at that time. And if we don't get supply, there's going to be more people running to invest in those, which will make them rise up in price. A quick look at the Shapeshifters 2 squad really quick. Um, <clears throat> these cards are still kind of maintaining their prices. They got hit last night with squad battle rewards. Not a ton. Of, they haven't really moved a ton. I want to check on this Mendy card because a lot of people are using this with the Sergio Ramos. Still think it's a bit overpriced. Let's see what happened after rewards. So rewards came. He was 720. Yeah, th these cards are just kind of chilling, man. 720 actually right now is kind of low on a fluctuation, but it's not really flippable for profit. Um, you know, Ribery bounced back. He was 1.85 last night at rewards. Back up to 2 mil. Richarlison has been getting really good reviews, so he's going to maintain a good price. Vinicius is dropping, which is good. I think he should be dropping. And uh, the rest of the cards are kind of staying the same. So we'll monitor these cards, of course. See what happens on Wednesday before Weekend League. Uh, and I'll probably make a video in the next day or so, kind of specifically outlining which kind of cards you want to be looking at to invest in from the set and when we do want to buy those. But the next thing I want to talk about again is coming today on foot, and I don't know how how really how much this is going to play into the content that we get today. But Copa uh, or Conmebol Libertadores, I, I butchered that right there. I butchered that. Let me try that again. Conmebol Libertadores. There we go. There we go. I said it better that time. This is coming to foot today, and we're all finding out today, March 3rd, there's probably going to be a big emphasis. There, there's a big emphasis on this because, again, as I mentioned it before, this is something that EA has been talking about in their um, financial meetings, basically. They've been putting this in the transcripts on their earnings calls every quarter when they talk about how much money they've made as an entire company. They're talking about this promotion being big for FIFA and the money that it's going to bring in for FIFA. So... Some people have been talking about possibly a separate mode in FIFA. Think of like World Cup mode. And I think that is a possibility for Kamibo Libertadores. But I'm just a little unsure because I know this is a big competition, right? But this is, I don't think this is anywhere near the World Cup. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I mean, this is only South America. Now, I know South America, there's a lot of hype. Probably some of you guys are from South America and you're super stoked for this. I'm stoked for this because this is something new, something cool, right? But I just don't know how much hype it's going to have for like the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect at all. But uh, as I look for some of the club names, these aren't a lot of club names that you usually see in foot teams. You know, the guys have. So 
in, in their ultimate team. So I'm just, I'm curious to see what EA does with this. I hope they don't try to like make it everything as a part of the game. I do think it's possible that we get a separate game mode. They've already said that it's going to be specific in the kickoff and tournament modes. There's going to be the, their own Conmebol Libertadores tournament, which will be cool to play through. Absolutely. Um, but I'm just, I'm really curious to see how this is going to translate into Ultimate Team because as we know, Ultimate Team is the bread and butter for EA Sports FIFA. Like I would, I would, I think it's probably not crazy to say that 90% of people that play FIFA play Ultimate Team. 90%? You guys think that's too high? I feel like it's not because that is like the game mode that is taking over this game. Most people that play FIFA play foot. So maybe 90 is too high. Maybe like what, 80, 85? But this looks cool to me. I'm just really curious to see how they actually bring it out. Again, I talked about this uh, in my video yesterday. I think there are going to be special items in packs, whether it's SBCs, whether there's cards that are in packs, however they decide to run it. It looks like there's going to be special items, which means new cards in foot. And then of course, themed in-game content. To me, this sounds like TIFOs, kits, stadium themes, um, balls, and probably badges as well. So basically everything cosmetic in the game, I think would be changing with this as well. And I don't think it's too crazy uh, to, well, career mode as well. Right here, we have take your team to the Kamibol Libertadores, Kamibol Sudamerica, and Recopa Glory in FIFA 20 career mode. So uh, they're doing, a, it's a lot of cosmetic stuff basically as you look with authentic competition structures, branding, stadium dressings, dynamic news, and integration of the three tournaments. So I think it's gonna be mostly cosmetic but I do think it is possible we get a separate mode, kind of like how we got in the um, in the World Cup mode in FIFA 18. But again, I'm just really curious to see what happens. And it looks like it's going to be an update as well because in a free content update. So for you guys that have like slow internet from where I used to come from, if you got slow internet, you got to be ready for this because you might have to download an actual update uh, to your FIFA today on Tuesday, which usually, I think it's either Tuesday or Thursdays is like the normal update day when they drop patches and stuff. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk about this too much because we just don't know what's coming yet. And it's not really worth it to stress a bunch of time over talking about this. Although I do think we are going to get some special cards and foot and uh, probably some kits, probably some objectives. We've already got one objective in foot central right now. I think it's for a kit, a decently designed kit as well. It looks kind of good in my opinion. Yeah. Chapulin, Colorado, right? I think this is something related to the Kamebo Libertadores. I could be totally wrong, but it's with uh, Liga Bancomer MX, Mexican players. And yeah, so I think this might be related to that, but um, I should see more objectives tomorrow. I would say tomorrow at the 6 p.m. content drop or today at the 6 p.m. content drop, make sure that you check SBC section, but make sure that you check objectives as well. And of course, stay tuned to EA's Twitter because they'll probably be tweeting out the new information from there as well. But again, Kamibo Libertadores. Oh, we got a sale, boys. What are we saying? Who sold? Who is it? Um, oh, we got a lazy sale on Allen. GG's. G freaking G's. Boys, I've been trading the icons. It's been working out very well for me. Today alone, I bought this at 1.24, sold at 137. Um, I bought this last night at one mil flat. Somebody bought it or somebody packed it during squad battle rewards, sold that for 1187. That was a nice sale. Both of these I got at one two flat, just under 1.2. I got this at 1.3 flat, so not crazy profits because it's hard to fighting. These prices are actually going down mostly throughout the day. So it's kind of hard to fight these sometimes as they continually go down. But a lot of these, you know, 10, 20,000 coins a card, then these two are pretty big, pretty big flips right there, which we're making pretty good profit on. Have a Lampard right here that I bought at 10.10. This guy's usually at 1.1 during the day. Right now his cheapest is gonna be this one that I'm listing up. So that could be a nice 20, 30K profit. I got a Raul at 1.04. I'm gonna try to ship this out at, what's the cheapest right now? 1.13, 1.1, okay. So I'm gonna go up 10K on mine just because it's cheapest on the market and that could be some profit there as well. Icons are working fantastic for me at the moment too. So that's why you're seeing me trade with a lot of them. I'm making a lot of coins with them. Um, last week on the weekly, I think I had somewhere around like 5 million transfer profit. I had 10 mil on the month uh last last month which was crazy considering my my yearly transfer profit i think has just hit 28 so i had i had 10 million on the month and i only have 28 on the year i went to match earnings and i'm also on weekly scuffed menu streamer and youtuber right here so yeah i'm at 28 mil 
And um, I started last month of February with like 18 mil. So crazy, crazy month for me, like almost not doubled, but made a th almost a third of my transfer profit in one month. So I'm going to continue doing that because these cards are so freaking fun to trade with. And we'll see what content we get today with Copa Libertadores, Conmebol Bowl Libertadores. Sorry, I keep saying Copa. And then also uh, SBCs and some possible pack supply SBCs as well, which we're always interested in, right? So yeah, boys, today's content, be looking out for it. We'll see what happens with all that stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.